Hi, I'm Dr. Swarajla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is retrograde ejaculation? How can it impact a man's fertility? And what are the treatment options? Retrograde ejaculation is a term that refers to semen going backwards into your bladder instead of coming out of your body through the urethra and the tip of your penis during sexual intercourse. The urethra is the tube that lets urine and sperm leave your body. Now, retrograde ejaculation is also called as a dry orgasm. It can be a factor that causes infertility. So, who gets affected by this problem? called as retrograde ejaculation. It often affects men who have had surgery on their prostate and urethra, have diabetes or multiple sclerosis, have injured or had surgery on their spinal cords, have had pelvic or rectal surgery, have structural issues related to their urethra or are taking certain types of medications such as some prostate medications, high blood pressure medications or antidepressants. So what causes retrograde ejaculation? Retrograde ejaculation is caused by a problem with your circular muscle called as the bladder sphincter. This closes to let semen out and keep urine in your body. Because your sphincter doesn't work correctly, your bladder neck stays open instead of closing, allowing the ejaculate to take the path of the least resistance into the bladder. So what are the treatment options? Well, it's not a painful procedure. So most often than not, your urologist or your clinician will ask you to ignore it because what basically happens is in your orgasm, it's something called as aspermia. So you do not have semen coming out. But other than that, there are no major complications out of it. The problem comes when you are wishing to have a child and you are suffering with infertility. At such a point, what can be done is once the semen goes back into the bladder, the patient is asked to urinate in the fertility center. The urine is collected, it is centrifuged and sperms are separated from the urine. These sperms can be processed properly, they can be washed and all remains of the urine can be removed and can be used for fertility treatment to achieve pregnancy. There are a number of treatment options if uh, mild treatment options fail. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.